on with it then. I am Eotyrannus, and this is the early Cretaceous period, over 130 million years ago. Oh, these two young sprouts here are juvenile Eotyrannuses. And fine young fellows they'll turn out to be, I can assure you. Today, I'm about to teach these fine young fellows how to hunt the mighty Comsonathus. Yay! Eotyrannus fossils have been discovered in these parts of what is now Britain. It's where Comsonathuses are found as well. And Comsonathuses just happen to be our favorite meal. Isn't that right, chaps? Now, some of you may think that all members of the Tyrannosaur family are to be found in either Asia or North America. The fact is, we're all over the map. My name, Eo Tyrannus, means early tyrant lizard. Yes, we Tyrannosaurs are certainly the most ferocious carnivores. That means meat eater to have ever walked the face of the earth. Why? Eh? What's all that racket then? Where was I? Oh, yes. Now, we Eotyrannuses are a bit smaller than our cousins, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. But we're just as skilled as the next chap when it comes to what we're really good at. Namely, hunting the mighty Comsonathus. <laughs> and that's what we're going to do today, right chaps? Now the most important thing about hunting the mighty Comsonathus, keep your eyes and ears open at all times. Ready, Sprouts? Let the Comsonathus hunt begin! Introduce myself. I am Sonornithoids. A theropod is a bipedal omnivore, which means I walk on two legs and I'll eat just about anything, meat or plant. And welcome to what is now known as China in the Middle Cretaceous period. It is said that I, Sonornithoids, and one of the most intelligent dinosaurs to have ever lived. And many scientists have concluded that my brain is larger than other dinos. True, I'm not the largest dinosaur out there, but sheer size isn't everything. Take the modern turkey, for example. He and I are about the same size, but the differences between us are obvious. He's a bird brain. <laughs> it is said that I, Sinornithoids, am not only very smart, but also disciplined and precise, especially when I'm on the hunt. Here, let me show you some of my moves. Ha! This is a position I like to call feathered dragon leaping. Observe and learn. Ha! Uh, well, it seems I'm a little tied up at the moment. Please come back real soon. Jurassic period. I'm Ultrasaurus. Ultra cool, ultra special, ultra big. It's easy to say my name. Ultrasaurus. Hey, Allosaurus. Should I have an audience? Ultrasaurus, he is the one. Ultrasaurus, that's me. When you think of the biggest dino ever, think of me. I'm so big. Hey, how big are you? I'm so big that when I sit around the pond, I really sit around the pond. <laughs> ha cha 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 cha. Ultrasaurus, he's the one. I'm a herbivore, so I eat lots and lots of plants. Lots. I have to to get this big. 
He's as big as a bus, folks. Actually, I'm bigger than a bus, Al. I'm as tall as a three-story building. Next floor, socks. But some people think I'm not an Ultrasaurus. They think I'm really just a huge Brachiosaurus, since we look alike. <coughs> no, you're Ultrasaurus. You're the one. I'm from what is now known as Colorado, USA. What's the weather like up there? So you want to have a look? Uh, yeah, I'd love to. Going up. E. Oh. That's too bad. I, I was just about to show him where his house was. Welcome to my home in the Triassic period, 230 million years ago. What a perfect day, huh? It's always like this here. My name is Herrerasaurus. You say that Herrerasaurus. Did you know that I am one of the oldest dinosaurs? Look out! Here I come! That's the life. <laughs> we'll take that. Theropods. We're always playing games like this. I'm not a big theropod, about the size of an elephant, but my tail is very long. As far as dinos go, I'm one of the earliest ones known. We're in what is now called Argentina in South America. Dino Ball! <laughs> ah, gotcha! <laughs> See you later! <laughs> Cretaceous period, uh, about 140 million years ago. <laughs> ah! I live in the land that is now known as Argentina. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yuck! That stuff tastes like, well, grass. Okay, as you may have guessed, I'm not a herbivore. A plant eater, like those Jubaria. Uh, I'm Gigantosaurus, the longest meat-eating dino who ever lived. You say my name like this, Jake and O. Saurus. It means giant southern lizard. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Phew. I'm as big as a boat, and I'm just as heavy at eight metric tons. You're looking at the biggest head of any theropod that ever lived. But uh, I have the smallest brain. It's about the size of... of a banana. Ah! Hi! I found you! Ah, the only thing that really terrifies us Gigantosaurus is little sisters. Okay, sis. Wanna go hunting? Yes! Will you do the roar for me? Sure, sis. Eh, she likes it when I do that. Smilodon! You're staying away from the tar pit, right? 
Okay, Mom, that's Smilo Dawn. It means knife tooth. Welcome to the Ice Age, a million years ago, and to my tar pits. The dinosaurs have all along vanished. Mammals like me are all over the place. Stop, you can't go this way. Don't get mad at me. You should know that I am a little bit smaller than a lion, but there are some differences between us. Like I'm much, much heavier. And of course, my choppers are huge. Oh yeah, I'm built for ambush hunting. What the? Ugh, you've gotta be kidding me, a puddle of tar? All kinds of animals wander into the tar pits and get trapped. But not me because... Because your mother told you not to go near them, right? Thousands of Smilodon fossils have been found in tar pits in what is now known as North America. In California, we're the state fossil. Don't forget to wash behind your ears! I hate taking baths. Well, maybe you should stay out of the tar pits and you won't have to have so many. Ago. You say my name, Torvosaurus. It means savage lizard. <coughs> Gee, what is going on with my roar box? I'm a theropod, which means I walk on two legs and I eat meat. A meat eater is called a carnivore. I am the largest meat eater in these parts one of the biggest theropods ever, over 10 meters long. And these thumb claws, they help me hunt for food. I'm from what's now known as the Midwestern United States. Yeehaw! That's better. Now let me try a good one. Gorgosaurus, that's Gorgosaurus. Mom, now they're gonna think I'm just a kid. I can't wait till I get big. I'm going to be even scarier than my mom over there. Rawr! Cause that's what my name means, fearsome lizard. I'm not as tall as she is yet, but one day I'll be nine meters long. I'll be as long as a house. Gorgosaurus like me, Tyrannosaurus? Phew, that's a big word, 
but it has to be big, just like us. Imagine, we're in the same dino family with T-Rex. See all the sharp teeth? We're meat eaters, and our teeth help us chew even the toughest meat. I'm from what is now known as Alberta, Canada. So when I get fully grown, watch out. If you want to get big, you have to eat a good meal. And I've already called you for lunch four times. Yes, Mom. Gotta go eat. See you later. here in the late Cretaceous period, 110 million years ago. Car, Chero, Donto, Saurus. It means jagged, shark-toothed dinosaur. And for good reason. These teeth are 20 centimeters long. Pretty scary, huh? Well, they will be, anyway. I've got a loose tooth. When it's out, I'm going to be the happiest theropod ever. Theropod means beast feet. And there are lots of dinosaurs that belong to that family. Believe it or not, birds are in my family. Of course, T-Rex is the most famous theropod. But guess what? I'm just as big, if not bigger, than T-Rex. I'm 13 meters long! But I live in North Africa. Maybe if I don't wiggle it, it'll fall by itself. Hmm, maybe it won't be today. out of my egg. Did I scare you? Oh yeah, I'm the dino. Ah! Look at that scary dinosaur! Run for your life! That was a close one. Let me help you say my name. Das Plesiosaurus. Das Plesiosaurus. Seventy-five million years ago is a horror show of carnivorous monsters. But you're never going to find another scarier than me. See these teeth? These are dagger sharp, curved, and they have the same edges as saw. See? Saw? Get it? Ha <laughs> ha! These teeth are huge. Not only smaller than my future cousin, Tyrannosaurus Rex, but they're still big. Uh, like I said before, uh, my name means scary lizard. And there's nothing scarier than me. Uh, let's think of some scary animals. A lion is scary, all right. <laughs> what else? A great big grizzly bear. Those are totally scary. I'm telling you, it's my choppers as much as my size. Uh, I'm one frightful lizard, all right. I'm also hungry. Now that is scary. I'm Penelope 
Panoplosaurus. That's Panoplosaurus. I wonder if you can guess what my name means. Welcome to our game show. Guess the meaning of my name. Clue number one. I live here in the late Cretaceous period, 74 million years ago. No guesses? Okay. I'm from the family of dinos called Ankylosauria. That means I have body armor. I have a stiff, clubless tail. And look at all my spikes. I'm built like an armored truck. Any ideas? Square root of four. Pie. This is an easy clue. I'm the same size as a dump truck. And I weigh three and a half metric tons. The same as an elephant. Of course, all of this armor is to protect me from meat eaters like these two T-Rexes. Okay, this is the last clue, and then you'll have to answer. I live in what is now Alberta, Canada. So can you guess what my name means? Does it mean delicious? No, Panoplosaurus means totally armored lizard. Look at all the armor on me. Sheesh. Do I win something? No. Hey, play nice. I gave you easy clues. Oh well, see you next time. Zuniceratops. You say it Zuniceratops. My name means Zuni horned head. And my eyebrow horns come in handy, especially since I have an itch in the middle of my back where I just can't reach. Ah! Ah! This is my home, here in the Middle Cretaceous period, 90 million years ago. See? My fossils were found in what's now known as New Mexico. A tribe of Native Americans lived here called the Zuni. Zuni, Zuniceratops. I'm the first Ceratopsian. That means dinosaur who likes to eat plants that has eyebrow horns. And I have another horn. See? At the tip of my nose. Not very big, just about the size of a cow. Ooh, so itchy. Wait, I know. Could you please scratch my back? A little to the left, lower. Yes, that's the best thing about being in a herd. You always get a helping head. Bye for now. that. I thought that he might be hiding in there. Oh, by the way, I'm Mega Raptor. That's Mega Raptor. You may have noticed that I'm in a bit of a rush, so I haven't got a whole lot of time to chat. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, wait a sec! Come back here! I'm as tall as a diving board. Excuse me, 
I'm wondering if you can help me with something. It's Mother's Day, and I have no idea what to get my mum. Do you have any ideas? A bag of nuts! That would be a great idea. But nope, she hates nuts. We're carnivores, and we don't eat plants. That's a great idea! Happy Mother's Day, Mom! hello to the sun. You wait right here, babies. Mama's just gonna go talk to these folks for a minute. I'm Gallimimus. That's ga li -mim -mus. My name means chicken mimic. A mimic is someone who copies someone else. But I don't think I copy a chicken at all. to know what chicken is as long as me. From the top of my head to the tip of my tail, I'm almost as long as a big car. There. You see, even though I have these really big, pretty eyes, I can't tell how far away things are, or even things right in front of me. I have to look sideways, like this. My babies! Oh, this is so exciting. I wonder what they'll be. <gasps> Baby Gallimimuses, just what I wished for. Well, I better start feeding them. Bye! It's very easy to say, Min, me. And welcome to the early Cretaceous period, 150 million years ago. These, these are my friends, Larry and Moe. We're very special dinosaurs, called Ankylosaurs. Ankylosaurs are dinosaurs that eat plants and have armored plates on our backs. And today, we're gonna have a race. Hey. What are you trying to pull? Oh, come on. With all that body armor on your back, you didn't even feel a thing. Ta-da! Now, are we gonna race or not? Sorry, all of this racing is making me hungry. What are you talking about? We haven't even raced yet. <laughs> Minmies aren't very big. We're about the size of a full-grown lion. could have raced Australian back by now. That's where our fossils were found. It was now known as Australia. A place called Minmeath Crossing. Get ready. Get set. And... Uh. Eh. I don't feel like racing anymore. You? We're not very fast anyways. Let's just go for a slow walk then. Besides, we all know who would have won. Yeah, me. <laughs>
didn't see you there. Welcome to my forest 66 million years ago. I'm Leptoceratops. Leptoceratops. My name means skinny, horned face. It's good practice for when I get older, when I have to bonk heads with other dinos. We stand, look at the other guy, and bonk heads! Like this. Whoa! <laughs> good one. You see, lucky for me, I belong to a very special group of dinosaurs. We have these hard heads. It's like built-in safety gear. I have my own helmet. Oh, and see, we also have a beak, like a parrot. And we like to eat plants. I can walk on two legs or four legs. I'm powerfully built. Grrr. I'm about the same size as a horse, but much more powerful. Here, let me show you. Watch out! I think I better keep practicing. But somewhere else. Bye!